Good evening. This is All India Radio and I'm VC Pramod with the news at 9. The headlines Union cabinet approves company's second amendment bill to further ease of doing business for law abiding corporates. Cabinet also gives nod for foreign direct investment policy on civil aviation. NRIs can acquire up to 100% equity in Air India. Government decides to open testing, isolation and quarantine facilities down to district level to check spread of novel coronavirus. Proceedings in both houses of parliament stalled for the third day today due to forced adjournments by opposition over Delhi violence. JNK administration lifts ban on social media in place for over 7 months. Center launches second phase of Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin. In Afghanistan at least 20 soldiers and policemen killed in a string of attacks by Taliban. And in cricket, India to take on England in the first semi-final of the Women's T20 World Cup at Sydney tomorrow. Union cabinet today approved company's second amendment bill to further ease of doing business for law abiding corporates. Briefing media, finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman said 72 changes brought in the bill will lead to further declogging of the criminal justice system in the country. The minister said recategorization of 23 offences have been done in the new bill. First one was recategorizing 23 offences out of 66, and those 23 will have in-house adjudicating framework. Second is removing seven altogether, which had compoundable offences nature. Third is limiting the punishment for 11 compoundable offences. Next point: five offences to be dealt under alternative framework, and the last, which is the sixth, is reducing the quantum of penalties for those six defaults which were decriminalised earlier. The cabinet also approved mega consolidation of 10 public sector banks into four with effect from the 1st of next month. Ms. Sita Raman said Oriental Bank and United Bank of India will be merged into Punjab National Bank while Indian Bank will be merged with Allahabad Bank. On the other hand, Andhra Bank and Corporation Bank will be merged into Union Bank of India and Syndicate Bank will be merged into Canara Bank. Ms. Sita Raman said Amalgamation will enable creation of digitally driven consolidated banks with global business synergies. The banks have submitted a scheme of amalgamation which the cabinet has considered so it is approved not just the amalgamation but also the scheme through which the amalgamation process will happen without affecting the core banking function. So every service of the bank will be intact every bank will be intact but the amalgamation will be ruled out the cabinet also approved foreign direct investment fdi policy on civil aviation briefing media in new delhi information and broadcasting minister prakash javdekar said fdi policy was amended to permit foreign investment in air india he said non resident indians can acquire up to 100% equity in air india under automatic route एयर इंडिया का स्ट्रेटेजिक सेल होगा तो उसमें जो एन आर आए भारतीय नागरिक है उनको भी खरीद में अवसर मिले इसके लिए बहुत बड़े निर्णय लिया है पहले जो स्कीम थी उसमें एन आर आए केवल फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट ले सकते थे अब वो सौ फीसदी ले सकते हैं Government has decided to open proper testing, isolation and quarantine facilities in various parts of the country down to the district level in partnership with state governments to check spread of novel coronavirus. The decision was taken in an interministerial meeting chaired by Principal Secretary to Prime Minister Dr. P.K. Mishra today to review preparedness and response on the issue. Ministries of Home Affairs, Defence, Railways and Labour would also support and supplement the efforts of health ministry through their facilities and hospitals to further enhance the level of preparedness there will be universal screening at all international airports and seaports through use of thermal imagery equipment also filling of declaration forms of places visited by tourists and travellers returning from abroad is mandatory Ministry of Home Affairs was tasked to work closely with state governments including relevant district administration officials to ensure screening at integrated checkposts at the borders. 
Union Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan today chair the high level review meeting on coronavirus in New Delhi briefing the reporters he said Delhi government hospitals have been asked to develop good quality isolation wards to deal with the novel coronavirus cases Dr. Harshvardhan said 28 cases of novel coronavirus have been reported in the country till date these are 16 Italians and one Indian driver one in Delhi six in Agra one in Telangana and three in Kerala out of these three patients from Kerala had recovered a few days ago chief medical officer Gautam Budnagar has confirmed that the results of the coronavirus test for children whose samples were taken from the school had been found negative to disseminate information to the general public in a timely manner including relevant advisories of do's and don'ts ministry of information and broadcasting was tasked to work closely with ministry of health ministry of human resources development and national disaster management authority we spoke to director aims delhi dr randeep guleria most people have a mild upper respiratory infection and it is self limiting and they don't need to be admitted and they take mild treatment with paracetamol and other medication some patients the infection goes into the lungs causing pneumonia breathing difficulty cough and in children they can be increase in respiratory rate and some people can even go into septic shock these people need to be admitted in the hospital they may need icu care some of them also require ventilatory support people have been advised to follow basic protective measures so that they can keep themselves away from the novel coronavirus what basic protective measures regarding coronavirus should be followed by all wash your hands frequently maintain social distancing avoid touching your eyes nose and mouth practice respiratory hygiene by covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze if you have fever cough and difficulty breathing seek medical care at the earliest stay informed and follow the advice given by your healthcare provider what are some protective measures to take while using a mask before putting on a mask clean your hands with alcohol based hand rub or soap and water cover your mouth and nose with a mask and make sure there are no gaps replace the mask with a new one as soon as it is damp do not reuse single use masks remove the mask from behind and avoid touching the front of the mask discard the mask immediately in a closed bin after use for further information people can call at ministry of health and family welfare 24 by 7 control room number 0112397-8046 and email at ncov2019@gmail.com As a precautionary measure Rashtrapati Bhavan will not hold the traditional holy gatherings in a tweet president's office said with alertness and safeguards people can help contain the outbreak of covid-19 novel coronavirus Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said experts across the world have advised to reduce mass gatherings to avoid the spread of COVID-19. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said he has therefore decided not to participate in any Holy Milan program this year. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app. and follow us on twitter at air news alerts you can also visit our website www.newsonair.com aaj ka bharat janta hai ki jab desh ki beti khadi hoti hai tabhi jeet badi hoti hai jeet badi jeet raha hai desh nari ko samman dekar shaucharya banwa kar shaucharya subah ke andhere mein jao ya raat ko shaucharya bana to andhera chhata जीत बड़ी।, बड़ी कर रहा है देश उज्ज्वला योजना से महिलाओं को धुएं से आजाद कर रसोई से तो बस अम्मा के खांसने की आवाज आती थी अब देखो गुनगुनाती भी है जीत बड़ी। दिख रही है ये जीत जब घर हो रहे हैं महिलाओं के नाम प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना से। पहले सिर्फ नाम की घर वाली थी अभी सच की घर वाली आठ करोड़ गैस कनेक्शन ग्यारह करोड़ शौचालय और मुद्रा योजना से पंद्रह करोड़ महिलाओं को लाभ भारत सरकार के ऐसे कई कदमों से ये साबित हो रहा है कि जब देश की बेटी खड़ी होती है तभी जीत बड़ी होती है जीत बड़ी। हर एक काम देश के नाम भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी
proceedings in both houses of parliament were stalled for the third day today with the opposition insisting on a discussion on the Delhi violence issue. The Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha witnessed repeated adjournments during the day. However, the Lok Sabha adopted the direct tax vivad se vishwas bill 2020 before adjourning finally for the day amid noisy scenes. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahla Joshi said in the House, the government is ready to discuss on the issue on the 11th of this month after Holi. However, opposition members were reluctant to the suggestion and continued to indulge in sloganeering. In the Rajya Sabha, when the House met for the day, Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu said the House can take up the discussion on the 11th of this month after Holi. However, members from Congress, Left, DMK, SP, BSP, TMC and others expressed dissatisfaction over the ruling by the Chairman. As noisy scenes continued, the Chairman adjourned the House for the day. The Jammu and Kashmir administration today lifted the ban on social media sites that was in place for over seven months since the abrogation of Article 370 on August 5th last year. In a fresh order, the JNK administration said people would now be allowed the internet access with 2G mobile data services. Earlier, the government had provided a list of websites that could be accessed in JNK. The center has launched the second phase of the Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen, SBMG Phase 2. It will be implemented from 2020-21 to 2024-25 in a mission mode. Union Minister of Jal Shakti Gajendra Singh Shekhawa today launched the second phase of the mission at a National Dissemination and Consultation Workshop in New Delhi. The second phase will focus on sustaining the gains made under the program in the last five years in terms of toilet access and usage, ensuring that no one is left behind. It will also ensure that effective solid and liquid waste management is instituted in every gram panchayat of the country. The Taliban killed at least 20 Afghan soldiers and policemen in a string of attacks hours after U.S. President Donald Trump had a talk with the insurgent's political chief. The militants have stepped up violence against Afghan security forces in recent days, ending a partial truce put in place during the run-up to a landmark U.S. Taliban withdrawal deal signed in Doha recently. The violence has cast a pall of gloom over the nascent Afghan peace process, with the insurgents clashing with Kabul over a prisoner exchange dispute ahead of talks that are due to begin on March 10th. In cricket, India will take on England in the first semi-final of the Women's T20 World Cup at Sydney tomorrow. The match will be played from 9.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. In the second semi-final tomorrow, South Africa Eves meet Australia women at Sydney. The International Women's Day will be celebrated on the 8th of this month. Government has taken series of initiatives to empower women. People are using the hashtag IWD2020 and hashtag Beti Badhao, Desh Badhao, to share uplifting stories in the run-up to the International Women's Day. In Nagaland, State Resource Centre for Women, Nagaland is celebrating Women's Day by organising activities to promote the girl-child and create safe environment. More from our correspondent. As part of their awareness activities, the SRCW team are visiting schools by organising signature campaigns as well as conducting flash mob at colleges. Simultaneously, One Stop Center and Women Helpline 181 teams are also holding various programs in the districts, creating awareness on the support services and the women-centric schemes and programs available to women. For AIR News, this is Afanyo from Kohima. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Union Cabinet approves company's Second Amendment Bill to further ease of doing business for law-abiding corporates. Cabinet also gives nod for foreign direct investment policy on civil aviation. NRIs can acquire up to 100% equity in Air India. Government decides to open testing, isolation and quarantine facilities down to the district level to check spread of novel coronavirus. Proceedings in both Houses of Parliament stalled for the third day today due to forced adjournments by opposition over Delhi violence. JNK administration lifts ban on social media in place for over seven months. Center launches second phase of Swachh Bharat mission Grameen. In Afghanistan, at least 20 soldiers and policemen killed in a string of attacks by the Taliban. And in cricket, India to take on England in the first semi-final of the Women's T20 World Cup at Sydney tomorrow. And that's all in the news at 9.
Good night.